I've been using LinkedIn Learning for quite some time. For those who don't know what LinkedIn Learning is, LinkedIn purchased a company called Lynda.com a couple of years ago where Lynda used to provide bite-sized educational courses, mostly related to technology management design as such. And they integrated LinkedIn Learning, uh, Lynda.com with LinkedIn and changed the name to LinkedIn Learning. I found LinkedIn Learning really helpful because the course structure they have are less than one hour, meaning by the end of that course, you will end up having a very high level overview, overview of technology or a skill that you're trying to get. And you will you have some key points to talk, you have some key directions as to it, where you can you know, make your next step in terms of that particular skill. I picked up many skills using LinkedIn Learning. So, I thought I should make a quick video on this new feature that LinkedIn Learning added recently. So I was checking out the landing page of LinkedIn Learning. As you can see, there is this new feature called AI Coaching, which picks up information from LinkedIn, LinkedIn, LinkedIn's account. As I said, LinkedIn and LinkedIn Learning are uh, uh, integrated behind the scenes. Let me show you real quick. If you if you are in your on your LinkedIn page. There is this one option here which says learning, which is LinkedIn learning, which takes you to the LinkedIn learning page. This is a premium subscription. Uh, you have to pay a, a monthly subscription to get LinkedIn learning. But there is one, there is this one hack you can do to get it, get LinkedIn learning for free. LinkedIn learning is offered f for free for those who have a library subscription in the, in the United States. So if you are someone who is living in the United States and you have a public library subscription, usually public library is free for people who live in their uh, towns. So go check with your uh, local library and ask them if they have LinkedIn learning subscription through their library's subscription. So I got this through my, my college. I know for the fact that this can be, this is something that you can get through through your local library subscription as well. This is completely free. So not many people are aware, no, people know that this, this, this can be, uh, this can be accessed through library. So go check and talk to your local library uh, uh, member to get this for free. Well, let's jump into the AI power coaching uh, for today's topic. So like I said, I saw this feature. I thought this was really impressive because it picks up information from LinkedIn meaning your current role and the skills that you follow on LinkedIn. And it lets you set a career goal. Okay, I know I'm in this current role and these are the skills that I follow. What is my career goal? So you can pick a career goal here. Like, let's just say I want to advance my current career and or you want to transition into a new career. So let's just say I want to transition into a new career. I'm going to pick this and then say, I would say product manager. Although I, I, although I do not want to become a product manager at this point of time, I just wanted to see what it takes for me as an enterprise architect to, to become a product role. So I'm gonna hit continue and see what, what, other, what, other, what other things it's asking me to, to give me some suggestions. It's asking me to add skills. I already added 40 skills, so it's, it won't let me add more skills. So I'm gonna go hit continue and Let's see. Okay, so here I can ask questions. So I'm gonna ask, what does it take for me to pick the product manager based on my current skill? Obviously, when I say based on my current, I should say a role here, the context here is important since it has information regarding my current role and skills that I have right now or skills that I follow right now. It should pick uh, this from this context. Obviously, prompt engineering is huge. So the the better you are in your prompts, the better you get the responses. In this case, my prompt is loaded with the parameters uh, behind the scenes, and I would see what this will get back to me with the response. So I'm gonna go hit enter and see what it says. 
I would expect some kind of courses from LinkedIn Learning that it would suggest me to go through to become a better. Okay, so can you tell me more about your current role, interface architect? Okay. Okay, that was surprising. I was hoping that it would pick up from LinkedIn Learning, but it did not. Obviously, I cannot write up everything that I do as a current role. Let's see, can you pick up, pick it up from my I should say LinkedIn. For those who don't know, Microsoft owns LinkedIn, so does LinkedIn Learning. So since Microsoft has exclusive permissions or rights to use OpenAI's models, most of their generative AI tools capabilities are powered by OpenAI's large language models. So I'm pretty sure this is even this is uh, powered by one of those OpenAI's large language models. I believe it's it might be GPT 3.5 or 4. As they release more and more models, they will update this behind the scenes. So let's just see what it says. Okay, can you pick up? I asked a question. Can you pick it up from a LinkedIn Learning? I should have said LinkedIn, but yeah. So it came back with me with a response saying, okay, based on your background as an enterprise architect, you will need to acquire several skills to transition to a product manager. That's perfect. Here are some courses that may, that can help you to acquire these skills. Okay, personal productivity for product managers, transition into product ma man management. Yeah, this is something I was hoping to look at. Secrets of effective prioritization. So at a very high level, what LinkedIn Learning does is, you know, based on your request or a prompt or your question, it will give you some suggestions as, as to what are some courses within this platform you could go through, like, like these suggestions to, or to achieve your goal. One thing I would expect, I was hoping it would be, it would re respond to me is to see, okay, now that you've suggested me these three courses, it would be beneficial if you can, if it can give us a high level overview, you know, not just a single liner, but the contents within that course. Obviously it gives us the person who is teaching this, but as a, as a person who, wants to assess it real quick. I don't want to go click on this and see what this course really offers. I would see, I would want to see a list of the contents or the chapters within this course. It would be more beneficial. But yeah, I have three suggestions here I could go pick. Let me ask, can you suggest me, suggest me a path to achieve my goal as I mentioned? Wow. I'm implying that, hey, go pick up the goal that I gave you on the chat above and suggest me a path. If you don't know what a path within the platform, LinkedIn Learning has has this thing called path, meaning let's just say you want to become a database engineer or an, an enterprise architect or a cloud architect. It suggests you a list of all the courses you should or you need to take to, to achieve your goal. It's not just one video or one course, but a bundle of uh, different courses that will give you all the skill sets, necessary high level understanding of various pieces to achieve your goal. So let's just see if it really gives me a path uh, based on the goal that I just gave uh, to, the, uh, to the, uh, the AI coaching assistant. Okay, so it got back me with the responses saying, okay, obviously it picked up the context of product manager, This is which is good. So skills and competencies for leading today's diversity, equity and inclusivity workforce. Skills first, talent management, okay. Engaging and retaining Gen Z with skills first approach. I'm sure these might be helpful, but I was I was hoping it gives me a list of things within the product management perspective, but, but yeah, well, I think that's all for this video. I thought this would be a very uh, helpful and informative video for someone who already have LinkedIn uh, learning subscription. Check this out. 
for someone who don't know and who don't have access to LinkedIn Learning, you can get LinkedIn Learning for free through your local libraries, a subscription. So go get it and uh, start learning. As I always say, keep learning and I'll see you in another video. If you found this video helpful and informative, please consider subscribing my channel. I'll make more and more informative videos like this.